Hi, I'm Emma. I'm here with Love Crafts and the lovely sleep wellness brand Eve Sleep to show you some ways to upcycle your old pillows. When it's time for a refresh, rather than chucking out your old tired pillows, I'm going to show you three ways you could transform them. The first is a garden lounger. The second is a dog or a cat bed. And then the third, we're going to do some tie dyeing with turmeric to make this lion face cushion. Let's get started. To make a garden lounger, you will need five old pillows, five pillowcases, a sewing machine, thread, pins and scissors. Start by laying one pillowcase flat out. Take a second pillowcase, lay it directly on top of the first and then pin it in place. I've only used three pins, but you can use as many as you like. Make sure as well that the open ends of the cases are at the same side as each other. It's not the end of the world if they're not, but it's just quite a nice touch. Then sew all the way along the edge, as close to the edge as you can. Repeat this with each pillowcase, so that when you finish sewing you have a long row of five cases all sewn together. This is going to become your lounger. Make sure you iron your pillowcases first, as this will make it easier to sew them together neatly. Stuff each pillowcase with an old pillow. Your lounger is now ready for lounging. To make a dog bed, you will need a sewing machine, a pair of old jeans, pins, scissors and thread and an old pillow. Start by laying the jeans out and lying the pillow on top. This is going to be your guide instead of having to measure anything. And it will help you work out where you need to cut to get enough fabric to make a pillowcase. Average ladies jeans actually happen to be about the right length of its pillow, which is perfect. So we're gonna make a cut, take the pillow away and then fold the jeans in half. This way you only have to cut once and both legs will be the same length. You just need to make sure that all the folds and creases are out before you cut. And remember this is denim so it is going to be quite tough but a good pair of fabric scissors will get through it with no problem. Once you cut off both legs, lie them out flat and then on each leg draw a straight line as close to the edge as you can. Jeans are shaped to fit a human leg and we need our pieces to be straight edged to fit a pillow. I'm using a ruler but you can use any straight edge that you have, you can use a book if that's what you've got to hand, it doesn't matter. And then you've got to do this for both legs. Now just cut along each line and then each leg will give you two pieces of fabric. While you have the scissors in hand, also cut out a back pocket, leaving roughly two centimetres around the edge. Now we're ready to sew, lie the pieces of each leg with the right sides facing each other, pin in place and then sew along one edge. When you've done this for both legs, you'll have the front and the back pieces for your pillowcase. On the right side of one of the sewn pieces, place the pocket, pin it in place, and we're gonna use a zigzag stitch to sew around the edge. This will become the front of your pillow. Now fold and pin one edge of each piece over. You'll see mine's roughly 10 centimetres, but it will depend on the jeans you have. And then lie both pieces together with the right sides facing and sew along three edges. So turn it the right way out, stuff with a pillow and add your favourite doggy treats. To make a lion cushion, you will need a sewing machine, an old pan, turmeric, white vinegar, rubber bands, old tongs or a spoon, a jersey pillowcase, black yarn and an embroidery needle, a side plate and pen and an old pillow. We're going to tidy our pillow so to prepare it I'm going to pull up the middle of the case and I'm going to wrap a rubber band around it. I'm then going to wrap rubber bands all along the length of it at random intervals. I'm using four but you can use as many or as few as you like. And what the rubber bands will do is stop the dye from getting into the fabric. I've then got four litres of water coming to the boil in an old pan and I'm adding three teaspoons of white vinegar. An old pan is a good idea because the turmeric can really stain. Now the pillowcase needs to be wet to help it take the dye so I'm going to put it in the pan now and then I'm adding three tablespoons of turmeric. Turmeric is an amazing natural dye and just gives the most phenomenal bold yellow colour. 
Now I'm just giving it a good stir and I'm going to leave it to simmer for at least an hour. After an hour, rinse it under cold water. It will be warm to touch, so be careful in the beginning. And you need to remove the rubber bands at this point as well, because what you'll see is there are grains and granules that get caught in the material and you want those all gone. So keep going until the water runs clear. And when that's happened, you just need to hang it up to dry. And when it's dry, give it a bit of an iron. I'm now going to use the plate as a template to create a lion's face design. I'm just using a regular ballpoint pen to sort of sketch quite a simple design onto my material. And I'm going to use the ring from the outer tie-dye circle as the edge of my mane. To stitch the design, we're going to do a chain stitch. So thread your embroidery needle, insert the needle from the back to the front of the material, make a loop, and then insert your needle back in where you just came out, make sure it comes out about a centimetre ahead and then pull it into a loop. And that's literally it to make a chain stitch. And now we're just going to repeat this all the way around our design. Now, to make the filling, we're going to cut the case of a hollow fibre pillow. It needs to be hollow fibre for this one because that's what's going to make our lovely filling. And we're just going to then pull it out of that case. You can see this is a really old, quite knackered pillow, which is perfect. And then this is the fun part. All we're going to do is just start tearing it to pieces with our hands. We're then going to stuff the pillowcase and we just want to fill it up behind our design because this is going to be a nice circular cushion. So squeeze it in and get it into the middle and then we're going to take some pins and we're going to pin that stuffing in place. The pins will stop it from spreading out too much and it means we can then just sew with our sewing machine around the edge of our mane. Now take a pair of scissors, ideally pinking shears but it's not the end of the world if you don't have them. That just helps to stop it from fraying. And cut around the edge of where we've sewn leaving about a centimetres gap. And that is how to make a turmeric tie-dye lion face cushion.